Session 246 Chapter 2 Verse 228 Divorced women keep themselves in waiting for three menstrual cycles, and it is not lawful for them, if they believe in God and the last day, to conceal what God has created in their wombs. In such time, their husbands have better right to take them back, if they desire a settlement. According to customary good and honorable norms, women have rights similar to those against them, but men have a degree above them. God is almighty, all wise. Chapter 2, verse 228 Let's start with the phrase, Divorced women keep themselves in waiting for three menstrual cycles. Take note that this ruling did not come in the form of a command. Rather, it was in the form of a descriptive statement. In other words, God did not say that divorced women should wait for three menstrual cycles. But He, the All-Wise, said, Divorced women keep themselves in waiting for three menstrual cycles, as if the matter is already settled. This style of speech delivers a powerful command and places more emphasis on what God wants. How, you may ask? We answer that an informative statement means that when the Almighty commands, the command is accepted and implemented by the believers without any hesitation. The command instantly becomes a reality that can be used to describe the believers. Thus, instead of issuing an order for the newly divorced believing woman to wait three months before remarrying, Allah described how a believing woman behaves. We can also look at the same statement from another angle. When God informs us that divorced women keep themselves in waiting for three menstrual cycles, we have a choice to follow God's teachings and be faithful to God's words or to go against God's description and suffer tremendous loss. Let's take another example from the Qur'an where God issued a command in the form of a descriptive statement. He says, Corrupt women are for corrupt men, and corrupt men are for corrupt women. Good women are for good men, and good men are for good women. The good are absolved of what has been said against them. They will have forgiveness and a generous provision. Chapter 24, verse 26. This verse, although delivered in an informative form, is a command that can be obeyed or disobeyed. So when God says, corrupt men are for corrupt women, good women are for good men, it does not imply that this is the way things are. Instead, it implies that this is the way the believers ought to behave. Here is another example from the Qur'an. God says in the 97th verse of chapter 3, There are clear signs in it. It is the place where Abraham stood to pray. Whoever enters it is safe. Here, God is instructing the believers to make the sacred mosque in Mecca a safe sanctuary for people. However, some people disobey God and harm those who enter the sacred house. Such people are outside the realm of faith at that time. This brings us back to the verse. The descriptive statement, Divorced women keep themselves in waiting for three menstrual cycles, is a mandate which is obeyed by those who believe in God. Take note that Allah did not say, Divorced women wait for three menstrual cycles. Rather, He used the phrase, Divorced women keep themselves in waiting. What is the difference? We answer that the wording of keep themselves in waiting acknowledges an inner struggle within the woman where a part of her wants to prove herself as a desirable woman, while another part of her wants to follow God's teachings. In other words, a woman that ended a failed relationship or was rejected by her husband often has a need to feel wanted by other men, yet she has to fight that urge and wait the prescribed three months. The phrase for three menstrual cycles, is translated from the Arabic origin thalathatu quru. Quru is the plural of qar, which could mean either menstruation or the time between two menstrual cycles. So which one is it? We answer that the verse used the number three, thalathatu, 
which is a form only used when the subject being counted is masculine. Had the subject being counted been feminine, the proper number three to use would be thalatha. In the Arabic language, menstruation, haida, is grammatically feminine, while tur, which is the period between menstruations, is grammatically masculine. Hence, for three menstrual cycles, is referring to the three consecutive tur, purities between menstruations. The long wait of three months ensures that the woman is not bearing children in her womb from the marriage. A three-month period also gives the couple time to rethink their situation. They may want to return to each other. That is why God immediately warns, and it is not lawful for them, if they believe in God in the last day, to conceal what God has created in their wombs. What is the meaning of creation? Creation is to produce something new which was non-existent. In the case of a woman's womb, something new which was non-existent may either be a pregnancy or menstruation. The woman is obligated to tell her divorcing husband in either case. God specified the waiting period for pregnant women in the 65th verse of chapter 4. The waiting period of those who are pregnant will be until they deliver their burden. God makes things easy for those who are mindful of Him. So, women who are in menopause and no longer have regular cycles must wait three months, and the same will apply to women who are not menstruating. And it is not lawful for them, if they believe in God in the last day, to conceal what God has created in their wombs. Means that the woman is required to announce if she is pregnant or menstruating to her divorcing husband. Concealment of her status is a great sin, especially in the case of pregnancy. A woman may be tempted to hide her pregnancy so she would not have to wait nine months to marry another man. In such case, the child may be wrongly attributed to the new husband. Pregnancy typically lasts for nine months. There are instances when a seven- or even six-month pregnant woman delivers. This variation gives the woman the opportunity to hide her pregnancy, get married, and give birth, claiming a short pregnancy, thus maliciously attributing the child to the wrong man. Here a story comes to mind. A woman was brought to the Caliph Uthman, may God be pleased with him, because she gave birth after only being married for six months. Uthman wanted to punish her for adultery. Ali ibn Abi Talib intervened and said, you punish her for adultery just because she gave birth after six months? Haven't you heard what God has said? Uthman asked, What did God say? Imam Ali recited, Mothers suckled their children for two whole years. If they wish to complete the term, and clothing and maintenance must be borne by the father in a fair manner. No one should be burdened with more than they can bear. No mother shall be made to suffer harm on account of her child nor any father on account of his. Chapter 2, verse 233 That is, a mother can breastfeed her newborn for twenty-four months. Then Imam Ali recited another verse. We have commanded man to be good to his parents. His mother struggled to carry him and struggled to give birth to him. His bearing and weaning took a full thirty months. Chapter 46, verse 15 if we take the twenty-four months, which is the total duration of breastfeeding from the first verse, then we subtract them from the thirty months that combine pregnancy and breastfeeding in the second verse, we understand that pregnancy may only be six months. After hearing these verses, Uthman, may God be pleased with him, said, By God, I did not pay attention to this. The Messenger said, My Lord, my people treat this Qur'an as something to be ignored. Chapter 25, verse 30 Do not abandon God's book. Please take a moment to subscribe and to share with your family and friends. Visit us at www.qur'angarden.com